Hi, everybody. Okay, let me see who's on here. Levi, Mark, hey, I'm good. Thank you. I'm doing good. Alyssa, hello. Robert, Parker, Zachary, Ahmed. See, I did that pretty good, didn't I? Um, hey, look at this. I didn't even shave here. I know. This is this is ridiculous. Look at this. Look at this. Can you believe this? Unbelievable. I didn't I didn't shave. I don't like this. I mean, it, I don't I don't like it. I'm going to have to shave. Um okay. Hi everybody. Wonderful to see you. Wonderful to um to see you again. I'm reading comments, so it, for all the silent time that I'm on here, I'm it's because I'm reading comments and I'm um hey look fan buddy crazy rob hold on crazy rob who's crazy rob well thank you I don't know but he's a he's a biggest fan buddy and I think what he's saying is He's my biggest fan buddy, not my biggest fan buddy. Hey, what is this? Already? Holy smokes. Look at this. From Ont Windsor, Ontario. Ontario. Is it in Ontario or Ontario? How do you pronounce it? Thank you for the super chat. What a nice thing for you to do. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, Something. Hey, look at this. Somebody, Mike M, lives in Brentwood. Let's do a video together at Walmart. I'm down. Uh, now, he's saying he lives in Brentwood. I live in Franklin. That's very, very close. We're like neighbors. So, um, I can't believe you said my, na my name. <laughs> Literally watch you 24-7, man. That's great. You want to know why, Rob? Because... I'm really excited to um, to kind of, this is like, a, think of this as a soft announcement. I have something really big coming up, and I'm going to tell you right now. I've got, I'm trying to pay attention to comments too, and my ADD is like off the charts sometimes. It's really hard for me to, to focus sometimes. But I'm going to try to glance at the, hey, look. Oh, my God friend Lisa is here Lisa uh wonderful Lisa Lisa Pye it's great so great um I think Lisa actually has um the uh what do you call it on here to moderate comments if anybody says anything bad about me okay so uh keep an eye out for that stuff but I doubt these people are going to do that right Look, look at Lori Kane, for example. Look what she says. Flatulence has a way of bringing people together. I don't know. I think she has a point. I have proof of it. I was going to tell Rob. He says, I watch you 24-7. Thank you very much. You're really going to be able to watch 24-7 pretty soon because very, very shortly, I am announcing something. I'm launching something in April. And as we get through the month of March, we're going to get closer. And I'm going to announce the actual day, but we're about a month away from a new, I don't even know if I should say this yet. Uh, we're, it's a new something big. How about that? It's a new something big. And you will have access. It's, um, it's a TV network. I know. I'm not even making it up. It's TV network. I know. It's crazy. It's called the Unveiled Network. See? Unveiled. Get it? And the logo is all caps is veil. So it's U N Veil D. Unveiled Network. You can um it, it's 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 crazy. I have been super busy doing a bunch of different projects. We're going to have so much content and so much stuff that it's going to be really, really unbelievable. Live content, 
Um, you know, of course, everything from YouTube will all be in one place, not just me, but it'll be me, it'll be Uncle John, it'll be um, a lot of really cool stuff from storytellers, and um, it's going to be a lot. Board shorts uh, is going to be there. If, if anybody has ever watched kids' snippets, you know how wildly entertaining um, that is. Uh, I even got to be in a kid's snippets one time. I love those guys so much. So we're going to do some, some fun, creative stuff together. Anyway, this is coming really, really soon. And um, it's, it's actually being developed. It will be available everywhere in the initial stages as an app. So you will, um, in April, be able to, uh, to launch it on Roku, Apple TV, Amazon, Fire Stick, you know, all the stuff that's out there, all the big platforms, it's going to be live. Uh, and then a few months, probably four or five months later, it takes a little while to get this stuff going. We will, we will, um, it'll be a TV channel. And you'll be able to go there and actually, you know, just flipping through, just flipping through. Oh, what's this? It's the Unveiled Network. And it's going to have lots of uh, really, really, the, the tagline is comedy and positivity. That's it. Comedy and positivity. So, uh, because there's nothing really like that. And I wanted to lift people's spirits. It's, it's what I love to do. And uh, this guy, let's go back to this guy. Let me go scroll up here. Rob, I didn't say his name, uh, from Windsor or Ontario. Rob Earl, 1983. What a nice, he sent me a $10 uh, super chat. Thank you, Rob. I really appreciate that. Lucas, I know comedy and positivity is what we need in 2021. Absolutely. Um, uh, Liz says, I was just watching your unmarried pranks. Thank you so much because I appreciate the compliment, Liz, but it's not going to happen. So, because I'm, of course, <laughs> I, you know, not that you could, but for me, you know, maybe in another planet, you know, if the timing was, but we couldn't, you and I couldn't, you know, those of you who don't know what I'm doing right now, probably just, I probably just sound like a moron. Um, anyway, I don't know what's going on. I mean, this is nice that there's a smaller group on here, but you know, I don't know when I go live on YouTube. What do you guys think about that? When I go live on YouTube, I don't know if a hundred people are going to show up or 2000 people are going to show up. And I don't know if it has to do with the time of day that I go live or what, but I like this little smaller group here. This is nice. I can pay a little bit more attention to the to the uh, comments. I've introduced your content to my friends. They all love you, dude. Love from Liverpool, United Kingdom. Wow. Wilson Mandela. Hold on. What time is it in Liverpool, United Kingdom? What? Dude, you need to go to bed. 3.30 a.m. right now. <laughs> 3.30, wow. Uh, thanks for all the laughs. Hey, I, I appreciate that very much, my friend. Thank you for saying that. It's my pleasure. Mike M., let's, oh, let's make some content. Franklin, Franklin, slash... Brentwood. Hey, I was just at Walmart today, and it was tempting to do something there. You know, um, it's interesting. I'll tell you something that I've learned over the years of being on YouTube. I have been working so hard for years and years on my videos, and I would want to like um, edit it just right, polish it, make it look good, and all of this kind of stuff. But the videos that really go viral are not the ones that look good. They're the ones that like you just hold up the phone and you, you film something real quick and then boom, those are the seems to be the videos that, you know, really take off. So maybe we could just show up at the uh, Franklin, you know, Walmart or something and then just, just mess with people. That would be fun. Am I in California? No, I was in Huntington Beach for about seven years, but California, well, never mind. <laughs> I, I'm not going to. I'm not going to get into any of that stuff. We moved away. Let's just put it that way. Uh, so we're out in Tennessee. We're out in Tennessee now.
Look at this. I think Lee. I think Lisa Pyatt is doing her job right now, ain't you, Lisa? Thank you, because I'm seeing things pop up that are <laughs> hidden messages. Um, has any store ever banned you from coming back? <sighs> Let me think about that. You know, yeah, I mean, one time I got banned from Target. It was a specific Target, though, um, in Northern California. And it was mainly because I don't know why I was banned. I was the guy that got hit. So I don't know. I was just a fart sound. So I don't know why I got banned. But anyway, I ended up walking in there about a week after the video went, this video went viral. And uh, immediately, immediately management came up to me and the main guy in the store, and even the manager of the store, the the like the head honcho came up to me with like associates and stuff. And I thought, Oh brother. And they kicked me out. But at the end he goes, I saw what you did and I thought it was funny, but I have to ask you to leave. <laughs> Just the fact that he asked me to leave because, it, but thought it was funny. It was It was okay that I was leaving. I felt okay. I'm, I'm okay to go. I'm okay to go. Liz, Burger, what are you doing? Look at that. What a nice thing. Look at that. That's beyond nice. Thank you, Liz, for that incredible super chat. And look at that little guy flying away on that little firework off to the sky. Liz, you you did that, which is so nice, but you didn't say anything. You didn't give me a comment or anything, so I don't know what to say. What can you say about Liz Berger? Thank you so much. Look at that. Uh, see, did you hear that? I sounded a little bit like Rosalind when I when I did that, didn't I? I said, thank you so very much or something like that. A little bit of Rosalind came out. And people are like, I'm telling you, I'm noticing as I get older that I'm starting to get a little bit of Rosalind and old man Harry going on from my prank calls. It's like sometimes I get like worked up into a frenzy and I'm like, I don't understand what's going on here. And Rosalind comes out. And then sometimes when I'm not, I'm feeling a little bit tired, I start to kind of, you know, just like start to sound like Harry a little bit there, you know. And uh, a lot of people, hey, look, Jackson, my son, Jackson Vale is on here. Hey, buddy. You should be sleeping. Almost. It's only, it's nine. It's 9.30. Hey, a lot of you guys are probably watching me maybe from um, California, maybe? Out on the West Coast, which means it's only about 7.30. So this shouldn't be a bad time for you all, right? Uh, Jackson, go to bed. I did not write that. <laughs> Lisa. Lisa, is it? Wait, no, wait, I didn't do that. Wait, hold on a second. Are you on? I'm confused. Wait, I'm, co I'm confused. Oh, no, it must be. It's got to be Lisa. It's got to be Lisa, right? Lisa, is that you? Yes, it's got to be. It is. Okay. I'm pro. Well, he needs to go to bed. She says. <laughs> he does. He does. She's right. Vicky, do what she says, Jackson. Vicky, thank you for the super chat. Look at that cute little dog. What's he doing? Look, he's sleeping. Oh, he's opening his eyes. Oh, he's closing. Oh, he's opening. Oh, he's closing. Very nice. Thank you. Um. <laughs> okay. Yes, it's Lee. Okay. I thought so. See? Oh, this is good. I like this. This is great. Um. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, somebody said, well, somebody said who was Lisa. She's going to be announced very, very soon, actually, in, in actually a really, really big way. And I'm, I'm excited to um, announce some incredible things that are that are coming up. In fact, it, believe it or not, things that are as big may be bigger than the TV network. Uh, there's something happening right now that's it's difficult to get into too much detail because I would sound like a blub, like a blubbering idiot, you know, just like I, I wouldn't 
be able to get all the information out there. There's so much. Um, but I, I am so excited about it. And this is somebody who's a part of it and everything. And so she's helping me with some of this YouTube stuff, you know, right now. Because she knows I can't handle typing back to people like this. And at the same time, and I, so I told her, this is what I say to people in these types of situations. Okay. Anyways. Um, what else do we, what else do we got here? Look at this. Liz's thing is going to stay up there a very long time, by the way, because, because it's such a large super chat is going to hang out there at the very top of the thing. Liz, thank you for your support. It really means a lot to me. And every time somebody does that kind of stuff, I, I literally, you should see, I buy things like this. Okay. This is a cotton candy filling Twinkie. Anybody know about these things? They're unreal. They're unreal. Um, no, I won't use it on cotton candy Twinkies. I promise. But, um, I do have, uh, you, you notice anything back there? Oh, oh, wonder what that is. Wonder if anybody recognizes anything in the background there. And I'll cover it up with my big fat head again. Um, <laughs> Nanny and maid, Dave said, Lisa, do you see that? <laughs> Nanny and maid. Uh, Keith Newberry cotton candy must order from Amazon ASAP. Dude, seriously, you want to see what it looks like? You want to see what this Twinkie looks like? I'm going to show you. Hold on a second. Uh, James says, we know why you left California, Jack. Um, have you thought about doing something again with Christian? I haven't only thought about it. He's actually, Christian is actually moving out here at the end of the month. And so you can imagine the fun that we're going to get into. I'm really, really excited about it. And we have some big, big things planned. He's going to be a big part of them. Um, it's going to be a part of the, the network and creating content with me and doing all kinds of really cool stuff. So uh, you're going to see a lot of me and Christian. Okay. Jonathan Goldner. I remember you from the last live stream. Thanks, buddy. Thank you for the super chat. I appreciate that. All right. In case you guys didn't know these things existed. Ready? Now, I'm not going to eat this right now, which is probably a good thing because this is close on my face and that would be disgusting. Uh, but look at this. All right. <clears throat> look. Well, you can see. Look at that. Look at this. You guys have to see this. Look at this. Look at that. And look how much filling is in this thing. Can you believe that? It's a cotton candy Twinkie. And it does, man. It has the essence of cotton candy. It's a strong cotton candy taste. It's unbelievable. Um, what else we got here? We don't care, Jack. You can eat it. I know, Lucas. I appreciate that. But here's the thing. I, I So I got braces. If you didn't see my last show, uh, just in case you didn't see it, I got braces, okay? And so I got real braces down here. That's why when I'm, when I, you can kind of see, I don't have that crooked tooth no more sticking back. Remember how jacked up my teeth were? It's okay. You could say, you could say, I won't be offended. But I had a little, you know, tooth, teeth issue. Well, I got braces. And then up here, I got these, um, Invisalign for the top. So every time I eat something like this, I got to take the stupid thing out. And then it's a big ordeal. I got to eat something. So I ended up losing like almost 20 pounds or something like that because it's just a pain in the butt <laughs> to eat anything. So I, I pick my meals and my snacks and stuff a little more carefully nowadays. Uh, whatever happened to Uncle John's channel, why doesn't he post anymore? I love Uncle John's channel. And you'll be able to see all of Uncle John's content uh, and some new Unchat videos and all kinds of stuff that we're doing on the network when it launches very soon. It's called Unveiled Network. And um, somebody said, somebody said, uh, where I just, I just, oh, that is not real food, Larry. Shetty. Well, you're kind of right. There's like a, a weird chemical taste in Twinkies. Have you ever noticed that? Wait, look at this. 
Are those colored contacts you are wearing? No. No, my eyes are blue. You're just, you're paying attention to them now because I'm so close to the computer. No, I don't wear contacts. Um, Tom, and Tom Anderson is wondering. Uh, remember when they stopped making Twiggies for a while and you all thought the tribulation had started? <laughs> you know what? Actually, I made a video about it. When Hostess like went out of business temporarily or something, me and Uncle John and uh, Jake, my my oldest son went out on a t on this like citywide search for every Hostess product. And there's a video out there you can type in Jack Bell Hostess or Twinkies or something. You'll find it. And we stockpiled as many Twinkies and Hostess stuff as we could because we thought that it was all going away. It's true. Uh, Martin says I'm his favorite person. Well, thank you, Martin. Appreciate that. Um. Should I do, I, you know what, I'm, I'm going to start doing, I got this machine over here. I, I should start doing prank call, live prank calls again when we go live. I used to have so much fun doing that. Um, somebody said I'm sexy. I doubt it. I doubt it. Oh, look, Jackson wrote to me here. He said, I have a private channel. What are you talking about, Jackson? What? Oh, he's texting me. Okay. Jackson's upstairs and he's texting me here. Uh, what else we got? Hey, Phil, how you doing? Somebody said that is a robot. That's not the real Jack. There's no way somebody doesn't age in 14 years. Oh, you're just being... You're just being nice. Thank you. Keep saying it, please. Um, what else do we got here? Hi, cheers. Uh, you lost some weight. Are you good? You know, I was surprised by the last. I posted the video, and people started that when I went live last time. People started talking to me about this weight loss thing. I'm explaining to you. I lost weight because of the braces. Believe it or not. Um, which is a real common thing. You can look it up. But a lot of people were really kind of worried about me and thought I had some kind of like, a, like I'm hoping I'll look sick. If I look sick, maybe I need to make some changes or something like that. But some people were like, I hope he doesn't have, you know. But I don't. I assure you, I'm, I'm in good. Uh, I'm in good shape. Operator Tony said you should definitely start doing the live prank calls again. Okay. I, you know what, the, the voice that I never really, that never really took off that I didn't do much with is the Ross Perot voice. I did this thing for a while where, you know, the ears are kind of, now, see, now, see, that's, that's what I'm, that's what I'm talking about. See, right there. See, see, Ross Perot's been, he passed away a long time ago, but uh, I wanted to start doing prank calls. In his voice, I, the reason I didn't do it is because I didn't think it was relevant. People would be like, "Who the heck is Ross Perot?" But uh, anyway, uh, what else we got here? Look, Liz's thing is still hanging on up there. Thank you for doing that, Liz. It's so kind. I'm really excited about the Unveiled Network. Uh, my wife said I should go live every day. Do prank calls every day, all the way up until from now on, all the way up until the network launches, so that then we can have like a big, some kind of a big party or something. You know, you still living in the South? Yes, I am. <clears throat> uh, Lori, I don't know if I can do Hank Hill. Um, it's my voice has to be conditioned properly for it. Uh, let me think. Hmm. Well. See now, Dad Gummit, Bobby, Bobby, in about two shakes of a lamb's tail, I'm gonna come over there and I'm I'm not really I'm having a tough time doing it right now, but that wasn't too bad, right? Anyways. Dad burn it, Bobby. Bah <laughs> I wish King of the Hill was still on the air. That was such a great 
Oh, you scared me. You little butt crunch. What are you doing? Gee, you did scare me. That was a weird noise you're making over there. Go to, hey, go to bed. Oh, Donald Duck, okay. Hey, go to bed. All right? I love you. Okay, buddy. <laughs> man, oh man. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I, got nothing, I got nothing to say. I don't do a lot of, um. that boy ain't right. Um, yeah. Oh, look, James said I'm in an age now where I don't need the pooter. Uh, just real. F I've always been at that age, man. I've always been there. Oh, yeah, that's fun. That's fun. I'm looking at this. The other day I did this, um, this prank call accidentally because I was at Buca de Beppo. Have you guys ever been to Buca de Beppo? It's probably our favorite Italian place. We like, the, we like the Olive Garden and some of the standard stuff too. But Buca de Beppo is, uh, I think I said that right. Uh, $100 if you do Sling Blade. We'll see if DB1 Journeys is really going to super chat $100 if I do Sling Blade. Here we go. You ready? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You don't reckon you know where I can get some of them french fried potato? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, Archie don't like it. Archie, it's me, dummy. I don't think I've ever done that voice around the dog. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, I did a whole video of doing that, um, doing the uh, sling blade. I think I just called it sling blade, the sling blade prank and i walked around approaching people that way in the whole video and i just i said i just mm, mm, you reckon you mm, you know where i can get some, some of, the dog hates this some of them french fried potatoes mm -hmm. mm, 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 mm. so weird hey look oh he did 50 hey and you got about a 50% show. So <laughs> we'll just, well, I think that's fair. Thank you very much, by the way. I appreciate it, buddy. <laughs> you see, he's like, well, you know, you didn't do much. I mean, you just did it for, oh, look, what? He did it. He did it in two chunks. Unbelievable. Thank you, DB1. You are a man or woman, I don't know, of your word. So thank you very much. Men, I think. I get the feeling that that men seem to be a little bit more in tune with my sense of humor. Sometimes, I don't know. Uh, and then sometimes not. Sometimes, sometimes it's the girls that think fart humor is funny. And um, it surprises me. But anyway... Uh, DB1, thank you, my friend. I really appreciate that. Very, very nice of you. Very kind of you. Um, <laughs> uh, anyway, I was going to tell you, I did this thing a couple days ago, and we were at Buca de Beppo. I was in the story. Remember the story? Okay. And my friends were there, and um, she had left the table for a minute, walked around to the other side of the table. And her phone rang, and it was her mother. Now, she's Italian, and, um, you know, whole family, the whole nine yards, right? And uh, Tracy is her name. Well, her mother calls. I'm like, let me get it. Let me get it. I've never talked to her mother before. So I pick up the phone, and I said, uh, yes, hello. Who is it? Hello, how are you? Who is this? And I don't know why my, my hand's up here. It was on speaker. But anyway, she said, uh, yeah, uh, hi, who is this? And she was looking for Tracy, her daughter, of course. And I said, oh, Tracy, she's in the restroom. She had to go do a number two in the restroom. She'll be back in a moment. We're all here in a restaurant here. And I 
had her convinced I was just some lady. And I said, this is Rosalind, honey. I've heard so much about you. You're wonderful. And then uh, I would put the phone down after a little while. And she was waiting for Tracy, you know, meanwhile, to come back from the bathroom and pick up the phone. And I said, oh, no, what's going on here? Oh. And uh, it, it was it's always fun for me to switch back and forth because the two voices are so different. They contrast each other. And nobody wonders, is that the same person? Especially over the phone. You're just like, especially when you, when you can turn off the, the whole thing so quick, like a switch like that, and then pick up the phone and immediately say, oh, now what's going on here? Then you just think somebody else grabbed the phone. They just hijacked the phone, and now you're talking to somebody else. Um, so much fun. Trey Herzog is here. What a great supporter uh, he is. Thank you for being here, my friend. I appreciate that. Brandon from Memphis. Oh, Brandon. Dude, I want to visit. I've been out here in Nashville for a long time now. Well, we moved out here three years ago, but then there was a, in, the, in the middle of it, we moved back to California and then back here. It's a long story. But anyway, uh, I wanted to go to Memphis so bad. I want to check it out. There's a lot of stuff there that I want to see. Um, it's good to know that, that I have a friend in, uh, in Memphis. That's terrific. Vicky says the Craigslist stuff is awesome. Thanks, Vicky. Uh, Vicky Jelks was with us last time, too. And actually, the Craigslist stuff is really fun for me, too. Uh, most of the Craigslist prank calls that I've done, I will just scan Craigslist for, like, um, the right picture. Pictures where, like, somebody is selling um, a mouse, computer mouse, let's say. And here it is. Here's the picture. Well, I will look at the picture, and I will notice the plant, the microphone. The, I'll look at all the other stuff, the shutters, and I'll start commenting during the, the call. When I call, I'll be like, how much do you want for the for the mic? How much do you want for the plant? You know, whatever. And it just drives people nuts. Like, That's not for sale. I'm selling the mouse, you know, and they get so upset. Um Trey said, why haven't I been on YouTube in a while? He just actually got on here. So let me um, let me say this for him real quick. So I'm I have been I have been developing something really, really big that's gonna launch soon. And it's called the Unveiled Network. UN Veil D. Unveiled Network. And it's TV network. And um, I'm really I, I can't wait to show you what this is going to be. Obviously, all of my YouTube content will all be there in one place for you to uh, for you to see. Also, Uncle John's, board shorts, uh, kids snippets, like family-friendly stuff will all be there. And then that's going to launch in about, a, in about a month. And then after that, it's going to be a few months later, and the TV side of it will start, will, you know, begin and stuff. So I, it's going to be... It's going to be awesome, man. It's going to be so much fun. Oh, Adam is begging to know your age. I, I would sometimes hold that back, but I'm not going to because you know what you'll do? You'll go right to Google or Wikipedia, and you'll find it anyway. So I'm just going to say I'm 47. There you go. 47. Um, oh, John Smith. Dude, you died in – oh, look, it's it's gone now, but I'm going to tell you – Thank you, Lisa. You did the right thing. But I am going to tell you what he said in case, because now, now people can't see it. So I'm going to tell you. He said, I died in 2016, which isn't true because I'm here right now. So I couldn't have died in 2016. But he, he's basically what he's saying. is he's, He also said, give it up um, and get a real job. But I'm going to say to John, no, I'm not going to give it up and get a real job because I make so much more money than you do with a fake job. I'm just kidding. I'm really just kidding. But I but for the laughs and for the fun of it, I gotta tell you, I love making people laugh. It is the greatest thing in the world, and I wouldn't want to do anything else. There's always gonna be one or two guys out there who's like, get a real job, get a real job. Listen, I could do that. I could. No, I couldn't. Never mind. I couldn't. This is all I can do. Zen Rockstar says you're doing God's work. Thank you. I agree. I can't believe 
how many people I have been able to, uh, and some of you may not, I don't know what your backgrounds are. I don't know how you feel about stuff. Uh, most of you probably know by now that I'm a Christian. Um, it's not something that I am ashamed of. So um, I proudly, you know, talk about that and everything. So anyways, um, it's amazing how many people I have been able to really talk to, minister to, um, get to know help them in some instances with problems, pray with them. It's, it's incredible. All because I, I started mass producing this little piece of rubber that you squeeze it and a fart noise comes out of it. I don't know. I don't know. It's wonderful. If YouTube goes away, what would you do? I don't depend on YouTube, so that would be okay. Um, but I wouldn't like that. I wouldn't like that because I enjoy YouTube. I enjoy, you know, when I feel like it, getting on here and talking to you guys. Um, hey, thanks. Thank you, Jan. Appreciate that. It's amazing. Um, it's amazing how when I talk about it, so many people kind of, you know, show up and and uh, and uh, talk about it. It's really interesting. Um, I'm a Christian, not a shame. It's awesome. Uh, well, if you're if you're uh, uh, if you're a true Christian, you kind of can't be ashamed. Huh? It's 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 one of those things that you know the Bible kind of spells it out what it looks like to be a Christian, and you have to be bold about it, and be willing to proclaim it publicly, and. And, um, and also it's just one of those things that changes your lives. It changes our lives so effectively and so dramatically that you can't keep quiet. You can't keep it a secret. Um, which denomination, which denomination trace it? Well, uh, I was raised, I was raised in the assemblies of God church. I was raised basically a Pentecostal, um, So today, I don't know, today, you know, everything's non-denominational, it seems like. Back in the day, everything was divided up, and it still is, but most of the churches today are non-denominational. It wasn't like that when I was a kid. It's changed quite a bit. Um, I still can't get, get over get over these, these three uh, <laughs> these $50 super chats. Um, thank you. I want to say thank you one more time. Thank you, Liz. Thank you, uh, DM1, is that what it was? I think, yeah, DB1, DB1. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate that. Uh, God works in amazing ways. I totally agree. Um, let me see. Uh, what else do you do for a living, if you don't mind me asking? Um, uh, so I do a lot of um, producing now, and um, for for I've produced for TV, and I'm doing films now and stuff like that. I'm still doing YouTube and Facebook and all that though too. Um, I don't do it as often, but I I'm going to. It's just I've been busy over the past few months um, getting ready, just preparing for the network and um, new programming and. You know, all of that kind of stuff. Trey said, why Nashville? There was a lot of things that went into that de decision. Um, you know, Madison, my 19-year-old daughter, is a singer. I knew that it would be good for her. Um, I have always secretly wanted to live in Nashville. And some of the things, I I I'm going to tell you, I'm going to talk about something here for a second, okay? One of the things that happened shortly after we moved to Nashville, I met somebody, this guy, uh, Jeff, Jeff Huxford, and he's a doctor that was in a car accident. Um, he's got, he's married, two kids, and um, he was in this car accident that was devastating. It was near fatal. 
Um, he ended up with brain trauma, severe brain trauma, and um, wrote a book. And I actually met him right before he wrote the book. He was doing a blog and he was talk, helping people and talking to people about, you know, the after effects of something like this. And it was very, very interesting. Um, developed a friendship with him. And long story short, it turned into a major feature film. Major. Um, and so after... Fast forward to where we are now, because that was, you know, three three years ago that that started. And now it takes a long time to make movies, folks. It's it's unbelievable. I've learned a lot in this business from just making YouTube videos in 2007 and 8 and 9 and 10 to getting into TV and seeing the difference and how different it is um, and how big it is. And uh, now... You know, my passion has always kind of really been to um, inspire people through storytelling and be able to to tell stories that uh, that move people and touch people. And um, also, I've had a personal interest in being able to share the gospel with people too. And so that's always been really important to me. So anyhow, um, I always say lo- stupid things like long story short. It's never really short. But um, I, I am excited about this film, and I'm going to tell you what it's called right now. It's called A New Normal. Listen, I didn't know, and his book is called Finding Normal. I did not know when I moved to Nashville three years ago what was in store. It's been more than three years now. But here we are now about to film a major movie in Oklahoma. Uh, that happens to be where we're going to shoot. Anyway, it, it's uh, there's a lot there's a lot of stuff going on, and in the middle of all that, there's another big, big, big project that I'm working on too. Well, kind of in the mix of all this, I really desired to develop something that I think is really needed today, which is more funny, more comedy, and more positive content. Just good family stuff that everybody can laugh at and enjoy with the family. So, um, you know, I don't know. I don't want to bore you with all that stuff, but I am... uh, I, I, yes, what I've been doing and I've been really busy doing all that kind of stuff. So I'm, I'm looking at some comments here. I can't comment on all of these, but, uh, Lori Kane, a new normal. I'm intrigued. Yeah. You can, you can learn a little bit more. Um, DB one, you can learn, hang on a second. You can learn more uh, about a new normal by going to the. Uh, you can look on IMDb. Um, you can look on uh, a new normal movie.com, which is kind of a placeholder for right now. But um, hey, Barb, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate that, Barb. Barb Justice. She just super chatted me. Thank you, Barb. And DB1 is saying he's going to give me $10 for the Forrest Gump voice. Little, little, little known fact. Look up ForrestGump.com right now, all of you, and come back and tell me where it goes and then wonder how I did that. DB1, you do it. Check it out. Um... And then come back here and tell me right now where it goes when you type in forestgump.com. Forestgump.com. Just type it in right now. Where does it go? Where does it go? Start typing it. Come on. Open up a new window. Type it in. And start telling me and I'll tell you who's right. (laughs) How did I do that, huh? 
How did I do that? The Pooter. That's right. I own ForrestGump.com. Um, okay, let me let me see. See if I can do it with the. It's a little harder to do do the voices, the right sounds with the stuff in my mouth here, the the plate in my mouth. But I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Here we go. <clears throat> Hello, my name's Forrest, Forrest Gump. My mama always said, life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Those must be comfortable shoes. I could walk all day in shoes like that and not feel a thing. I, I, it's been a... <laughs> I like to have shoes like that. It's been a long time since I watched it. <laughs> I bet if I remember hard enough, I could remember my first pair of shoes. <laughs> Mama said they'd take me anywhere. She said they was my magic shoes. Thanks, TV One, for the 10 bucks. I feel like a dancing monkey. That's what I am right now, a dancing monkey. Hey, Jack, do this, do that. I don't know. Was that any good? Was that any good? Barb gave me $5 extra, folks, on Super Chat. I think she thought that it was a pretty good... Pretty good uh, impression. Uh, thank you all very much. I, I I appreciate that. What does this say here? How's Uncle John doing? You want to know about Uncle John? I'll tell you. Uncle John lives in Arizona. He is happily married to Aunt Tina. And the captain of a boat where he gives people tours on have Lake Havasu. I, I, I swear that is 100% accurate. That's what he's up to. And he, he loves it. He's enjoying it. And, um, there you go. But he's going to, he's going to be making videos with me. And we're going to be doing new on chat videos and all kinds of stuff. So I, I promise it's going to be great. Did I see Coming to America 2 yet? No, I haven't. But we're going to. We're going to. Is Uncle John running on chat in Arizona? Yes, he is. He's doing, a, he's doing a pretty good job. He's out on boat patrol, though. He's doing it out there on the boats. Uh, Thunderstruck, what's up? You're making more than I am right now, and I'm being a dancing monkey. But patient and sitting all day enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay, it's a listen. It's um, it, it's it's fun being silly for a living. Um, it, it really is, Vicky. It's uh, it's it's a blessing, and I have never taken it for granted, not once. I love it. Oh, DV1 said he finished watching Coming to America and loved it. Wow. I can't wait to see what it's what it's like. Tyler, I don't do drugs and uh, I have been losing weight, but it's been because of the um, the braces. Not uh, because of the other reason you put there. Oh, my goodness, my goodness. When, so will you announce where you will be when you come to Oklahoma, I would really like to meet you. Uh, you don't have to announce it now. I'm just wondering if you will announce it when. Yes, uh, it's going to be this summer, 
and I will definitely announce it because we're going to want to do some, we're going to want to do some meetups and stuff like that. It's, it's interesting the kind of pro some of the projects that I'm involved in doing and producing these films and stuff. Um, there's four right now in front of me and one is a comedy. <laughs> the other I mean, one is funny and dramatic, but it's, it's not really a comedy. Um, only one is a comedy and the other three are, but you know what? I learned this a long time ago. You got to like, you know, sometimes God puts things in front of you that you don't expect. And, um, so I'm just doing what he says to do. Um, thank you for making great vids, Jack, but what inspired you? Um, you know, I get that question a lot, and but so here's the thing. Before I really did anything on YouTube, I was trying to. I had developed the pooter, and I started wanting to like get. I wanted to get it into stores. So my plan was to call every store in the country and try to get them to carry the pooter. In I'll, I'll show you what the pooter is. Hold on. A I think I got one. Okay, this is what it is right here, okay? This is the pooter. Got the instructions on the back. It's in a clamshell. You just pop it open. This is what it looks like, okay? It's just a piece. It's basically a cylinder, kind of like a rubber cylinder. So you want to kind of soften it up a little bit. For those of you who are not uh, well informed, there you go. That's the pooter. So. I started to sell, I wanted to sell these things and I did make a few sales, but it was nothing real spectacular. And then I realized, I realized that um, I had it with me everywhere I went, the post office, the bank, the grocery store, and it was always good for a gag. It was always, it was always fun to use because people would, I would get their attention and they would laugh and and I noticed the one thing that was the same every time was the laughter and the expressions on people's face. And I loved it. So that got me to thinking if I could just film these reactions, I would be able to, it would sell itself. You know what I mean? Like people would go, I want to make people laugh. I want people to be happy. So that's what I did. And by the way, go look at some of my first videos, like the Pooter episode one, two, three. Wow. The editing. I thought I was being pretty fancy back then. But this is the Pooter. Okay. So this is, um, watch this. So for people, sometimes people will get it and they'll be like, I don't understand how it works. And they'll see there's a hole right there. So if you just take it out and squeeze it, you're not going to get, you, you've got to seal the hole. The hole's got to be to your hand. And then you just hold, hang on to it, find a good spot. You want to like seal the air so that it's airtight, you know, there. And then you just, you can do so. And then you, when you put it under your arm, that's why a lot of times in my videos, I have my arms folded, they're crossed like this. It's because you get that that muffled sound. It's great. So there you go, the pooter. Um, 
that's how I started this. And I discovered that when I used it in public, it made people laugh. And so I knew that I was born to do it. I didn't want to do anything else. I, I knew that like, oh, this is what I was born to do. Not just that. But that, in addition to other things that make people feel that they want to laugh, that they are inspired about something, um, that they that makes them feel good. And so that's how it started. And that's why I'm still doing it um, today. Oh, Keith Newberry uh, says, Leslie Nielsen had one in 1982. So for your information... Leslie Nielsen is one of my absolute favorite comedic actors of all time, and so is Don Knotts. And Leslie Nielsen um, had the first version, I'm pretty sure, of this device. I don't know the name of the one that he had, but he had something like this, and he would take it with him to interviews. And Keith just mentioned this. And he would be like having a serious interview, but he would have it with him in his like jacket pocket or in his chair. And he would squeeze it in the middle of a serious interview. And I, it was so funny and uh, nobody expected it. So it, it just, it came across. It's all about the comedic timing and stuff like that. So I've learned a lot over the years. But anyways, um, I did, um, I had this thing on The View. Uh, I was on the TV show The View as um, a guest one time. And uh, Whoopi thought it was really, really funny. And um, I used it on her in the elevator. And and uh, anyway, she, she insisted on having a couple of these. I gave her a couple of pooters. And to this day, one's on her desk and at, uh, at her office in New York. Martin, 1982, so I can't wait to come to Oklahoma. Hey, thank you. I can't wait to come to Oklahoma, too. There's another big project that I'm going to be in Oklahoma for um, after the one this summer, too, which is really going to be fun um, as well. <clears throat> Have you ever considered doing a real fart in your video? Synth, uh, Synth Valley said, well, yeah, I've considered it. Um, it doesn't have the same, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, we'll, we'll see. Somebody farted on me for real one time. I did the pooter and then he ended up lifting his leg and did a real one on me. You could, you could type it in the, you could type it in right now. Man farts on me for real at Walmart or something like that. You'll find it it's funny. Uh, oh, Jan said, oh, that's kind of you to ask. Um, do you have PayPal, Jack? YouTube takes too much. Um, yeah, my, I feel so, I feel so funny. Uh, my PayPal <laughs> is uh, uh, jackvalefilms at gmail.com. And actually, oh, look, Barb just joined as a new member. Thank you, Barb. Um, and uh, my Venmo is just Jack Vale, one word. That's really easy. Watch, no, my Venmo is going to start uh, start start going off. Um, but I I really don't feel bad about it. I appreciate it. I, I appreciate you guys. Um, I don't get a lot on on um, YouTube anymore. It's not like it was before. It, it in fact it's substantially less than it used to be on YouTube to, as far as like ad rev and stuff like that. So um, everything that does come in through things like this, I turn it right around and I, I um, do things to try to film and develop things like without this, without any income, could you imagine I wouldn't be able to, I wouldn't be able to create the positive TV network that I'm doing now um, and all that kind of stuff. So I, I do appreciate it. I, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't ask for it. I'm not one of those guys, but you know, um, people ask. And so I'll answer the questions and everything like that. But, um, Sonny Davis said you helped cure my depression. Oh man, Sonny. I, I don't know what to say. Thank you very much. 
thank you for, I'm, I'm glad that I was able to help in that. Um, I am a board member of a nonprofit called Nothing Hidden. And um, these are friends of mine that started a, they experienced a loss in their family and they ended up starting a, um, an organization to help people who suffer with depression. And I knew that was something I wanted to be associated with because I would get emails from so many people um, with stories like yours. And uh, anyways, thank you. Thank you for saying that. It means a lot to me. Synth Valley says, how do I meet you? Um, I should do more, I should do more meetups and stuff like that. I've done, I think I've done probably five or six in my entire online career. Um, and then when I change my hair, um, that's always kind of fun because look at my hair is all different now. And um, since I'm not making as many videos, it's, uh, you know, I look a little different to people. So if I did do a meetup, you probably wouldn't know who I was. Uh, Austin said, let's do a meetup. I live in Nashville. Oh, that's cool, Austin. Right on. Um, I can't do it tomorrow, but I would love to do, I would love to do a meetup. I did a meetup one time at Big Shake's Hot Chicken in Franklin. That was fun. That was the only one I've done in probably four years. But I, I did one in um, Old Sacramento one time. And it was crazy. It was so cool to get to meet so many people from all over. Uh, some people drove from Southern California to get to, they drove for like six to eight hours to get to Sacramento. And um, that was really, really cool. We should do a meetup. I liked it. You know where I would like to do a meetup? Um, I would like to do a meetup in... Uh, New New York, New York or New Jersey or something like that. Yeah, I think that would be. I think it would be cool because I've always spent. I've spent most of my time on the West Coast. It would be fun to go all the way on the other side and do something there. I think. What else we got here? Do you waste uh, the scammers' time when they call you, or just hang up on them? Um, no, I, I pretty much always waste as much time as I, I can. I love, I love that. Uh, New Jersey, LOL. <laughs> Lisa lives in New Jersey. <laughs> um, <laughs> could you talk about the video with the Lego haired woman who threatened to sue you for farting all over her? Um, yeah, Lego haired woman. I love how you, how you ordered that. Um, yeah, she, it didn't go to court and she, uh, she was very, um, oh, okay. Hang on a second. I see that. I'm going to get into the lady who sued me in a second. Well, let me give these guys a shout out. These are my friends. Uh, Trilogy Media. Thank you for the super chat. Very kind of you guys. So I have been doing, let me tell you something about Trilogy Media. These guys, they, so you know I like to mess with scammers and these guys who call, try to fix your computer and you know whatnot, whatever. Anyway, these guys took that to a whole, whole new level. Um, and apparently these guys have been watching my videos for a long time. And so you got to you got to check these guys out. I'm I'm giving them an official shout out here. Trilogy Media. They just did the 1999 super chat. You got to check these guys out. They are this really really entertaining. And he they took this this exposing scammers thing to a whole new level where now they're even I think like tracking down the people that call to scam to scam you in person and confronting these people. I'm not really sure how they're doing it, <laughs> but I've seen a couple of videos and it's it's pretty high tech, man. They're like figuring out where these people are 
and they're confronting them, and it's amazing. So, uh, you know, it, it's really, it's, it, listen, they're really, actually, they're really doing a lot of good for the world because these guys, those guys should not exist out there, you know, scamming old people out of uh, their life savings and stuff like that. I just, I don't know how people could sleep doing that stuff. But anyway, Trilogy Media, check them out. Um, oh, look at this. Going back a step, I'm in Sarasota. Maybe a meetup in Sarasota. Oh, my wife would love you. She wants to go to Sarasota so bad. I hear that Sarasota is beautiful, by the way. Um, I can't believe. Oh, that's funny, Alyssa. Look at the peach with the. <laughs> that's great. Um. Oh, look at this. I remember that meetup. What? I remember that meetup at Shake Shack. Oh, it's actually called Big Shakes in Franklin. When you first moved here, you bought my meal. I will always remember that. Thanks, Jack. We talked about Bitcoin and a podcaster showed up, Gary said. <laughs> That's cool that you remember that, man. I, I really had a good time that day. I, I felt horrible because... I was supposed to bring an inventory of pooters this day, and we had this big snowstorm, so it held all the mail back, and my pooters didn't arrive in time for the for the meetup, and I felt terrible. So I always swore that if I did this again, I would make sure that I would um, – this time I would make sure that I had like – I was stocked up with pooters and everybody got a free pooter, which will happen, I promise. Um, in fact, we should just get on that. We should do a meetup here really soon. Jack, where does Christian be safe live? Austin said. So he's actually moving here at the end, by the end of the month. Isn't that exciting? A couple of weeks, he'll be here. And he's going to be a part of the Unveiled Network, and we're going to be doing a lot of really cool stuff together. Oh, come on. Stop. Stop. Thank you, Jack. You're my number one YouTube inspiration. And just hit quarter of a million subs. Oh, good for you guys. Awesome. Just hit a quarter of a million subs. Good. Everybody, let's congratulate Trilogy Media right now. Good for them. I love that. You're my number one YouTube inspiration. What? I love, uh, I get a lot of satisfaction out of like doing those telemarketer calls when they call, not the telemarketer, but the scammer ones, you know? I love, he's, they're really, these guys, check them out. Really, really funny. Really, really funny and also like serious too. They're like, it's funny for a while and then it goes, it things take a different turn at Trilogy Media because they, they're actually like confronting them and, you know, getting them shut down and stuff. Really, really good. Congrats, Trilogy. Can you make old man stealing, old man pizza stealing videos? Yeah, Raj. So Raj R is talking about one video that I did where I put on the old man mask. And um, waited for Domino's to show up and had a lot of fun. Look, old man steals pizza prank. Look that up on YouTube. It's a great, it's a, that was a fun, that was a fun video. I did that one last year. So yes, I will do that. I will definitely do that. Look, man, people said congrats to you. The Lego haired woman story. See, Charlie. People know that I, I, I don't do well focusing, so I'm going to tell you the Lego-haired lady story. So uh, that really took me by surprise because she exaggerated the story. That was the biggest problem with it is the fact that she exaggerated the story because if she just would have said, there's this guy and he farted in the aisle, you know, a little too close to me, that's a real, that's what really happened. She didn't say that. She turned me in and claimed that I farted all over her. All over her. Watch the video on YouTube. It's called Sued for Farting. Because I used the pooter. I used the pooter and she... Was trying to push her cart past me, 
And she said, excuse me? And I said, oh, no, I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't mean to bump into your car. No, you didn't bump. You farted on me. And she kept on going. Well, later on, she didn't just say you farted on me. She told she told the, the employee at Walmart, you, did more, you insulted me. You farted all over me. And my lawyer will sue you, she said. And by the way, her lawyer never contacted me. Never. So I'm thinking she couldn't find a lawyer who specialized in flatulence assault. Because otherwise, I'm sure I would have heard from him. What do we? What else do we have here? Puerto Rico would be fun. I would love that. Uh, Geo Boy says, "Glad you're here. Still here with us, Jack. Thank you. I appreciate that very much." Uh, what was your favorite video ever to make? I can't answer that, but I can. I can come close. I would probably say my favorite videos to make are unchap videos. If I had to, you know, people, you know what? This is the obvious answer because this is kind of my, what I'm known for. Unchat videos are just so much fun to me. So I don't know. I just, I've always loved them. Um, they're my absolute favorite thing in the whole world. Guys, I've been on for an hour and 11 minutes. That's too long. Don't you think, don't you think that's too long? Well, I think it is. All right, let me see. I'll, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave at the end of the last super chat. <laughs> okay, which is still gonna be a little while longer, isn't it? Okay, because uh, I don't want to. I don't want to cut into the, your time if you did something and it's going to stay up here at the top and all that stuff. So I'm going to hang in there, and then once there's no more super chats, I will close it out. Okay, and then if another one comes, I'll stay on. I guess I'll keep doing. But once there's no more at the top here, I'll I'll do it. Probably about ten to fifteen. Yeah, I think so. Um. Oh. <laughs> Bobby asked a good question. We're going to talk about it. I'm going to read it. How did you keep so cool when that guy punched you, and how didn't you punch him back? So here's the thing with that. I didn't punch him back because he was an old man in a motorized car. Uh, so I didn't really feel like... That would have been a good move. But also, I didn't feel any aggression towards him. So it wasn't like I had to defend myself by hitting this old guy. Uh, I would never do that. I would take a punch from somebody of his in his position and then probably back up and just stay out of his way. <laughs> I might duck or dodge, but uh, I'm not going to... to attempt you know to hit this guy back um no matter what but in this situation this was an interesting situation because i did it came very very unexpectedly i've never had that happen to me and still to this day it has never happened to me again something of that magnitude uh when the police came people don't understand this about that video they don't like some people don't like the video at the time that it was uploaded in 2010, I think, or something like that, um, the comments were all defending me. But there was a society shift between 2010 and 2020. And I could slowly, right about, I would say, 2016-ish, something like that, people started to defend him. You can go back and look at the comments and see what I'm talking about. There was a society society shift where people started to defend him and called me the antagonizer because I had the fart toy, which I I I, I, I get it. Um, but I just felt like like I get it. I started it. Okay, I squeezed a fart toy, and he felt that it was disrespectful and didn't like it, and I was too close to his wife. There's a couple of things. She was in a motorized cart too, in an aisle. 
and it looks in the video like I'm since she's sitting, her butt would have been about. Let's see if she's sit if she's sitting here, and then or sorry, her head would have been about here. <laughs> Don't you love this conversation? And I'm standing, so my let's call that little line on my finger my butt because I'm standing <laughs> right there, right? <laughs> okay, <laughs> right there. Here's her face. Here's my butt. The little line on my finger. <laughs> Yeah, that looks pretty bad, don't it? Okay, but it wasn't really like that. I was actually, it was off like this, but you can't tell in the video because the angle is dead on. So there's that. Uh, plus, I had done that so much, so many times before, I was like, I mean, every once in a while, somebody might have a disgusted look on their face, but nobody's ever gone that far. So I really didn't think, that I didn't even see that coming. Now, here's the thing. People think that I called the police. I didn't. I didn't. I would never do something like that. Never. It's Target's policy that when someone farts on somebody in their store, hear me out, and then the, that person, the fartee, retaliates by punching somebody in the middle of the aisle, they have to call the police. Now, I know you're thinking, Jack, it doesn't really say that in their policy book. There's not really a rule for this. Okay, fair enough. I'm exaggerating. The flatulence part is not in their, in their rule book. But it is in there that if there's any kind of, of assault on someone, and in this case... A man was hitting someone in the middle of the store around people who are trying to shop. They have to immediately call the police. It's their policy. They have to because they got to write up a report and do all this stuff. So all I can do is tell the cops when they get there what I want to see happen out of this. Well, here's the great part of this. Okay. So I took the pooter. And I started to tell the employees after they called the police what it was. And I said, I got this fart toy. You can hear me in the video being very honest. I got this fart thing. I do this. And he didn't like it. And he started hitting me. Well, think about this. Could you imagine being a cop out on patrol and you, the dispatcher calls you? And says, there's an old man at Target who just got farted on by somebody and he retaliated by throwing punches at him. This cop could not wait to get to this, this uh, Target. He shows up, these cops. I wish we would have got this on video. Two cops walk in. I insisted that I was right there at the front door of Target waiting for the cops to show up because I don't know who's going to give him what story first. And I really wanted to be the guy who made the first impression because I wanted to tell him what happened. So I had my pooter out. I was going to own up. I was going to fess up to the whole deal. And these guys walk in and the main guy who I know is the main guy is this tall, lanky guy, police officer. And He's got this smirk on his face as he walks in, and I'm at the front door of the store. And uh, his eyes connect with me, and I've got the pooter, and I'm holding it up like this. And I start to approach him, and I start to say something. I said, hi, it's uh, – and then I started to talk. Before I got any words out, he goes, yeah, you can put that away, Jack. We know who you are. <laughs> I love that story. So – you can put that away, Jack. We know who you are. Anyway, fast forward to the end. Uh, turns out this guy was in and out of custody all the time. He was a loose cannon. Things just set him off for whatever reason. And who knows what those reasons could be. It could, have, it could be an old war. It, it, who knows? It could be a very legitimate. He obviously had some kind of a disability, some kind of a mental situation or something. And uh, so the cops came up to me at the end and they said, okay, so 
how do you want to handle this? And I said, well, what, what do you, what do you mean? And they said, well, we can do one of two things. We can let him go or we can take him down to the station again, which he knows that routine really well. Uh, how would you prefer to handle it? Do you want to file a report or not? And I said, absolutely not. I do not want to file a report. I don't want him to go to jail. I just want to go home. And he said, okay, well, either way, he is going to be banned from the store because he's had issues in this store before, acts of violence. Okay, whatever. So I wonder if that guy is still around. Somebody should find out if that guy is still around or not. I don't know. He was getting up there. But um, so, yeah, that's what happened. About a week, a week later, probably less than a week, I went back into the store with Uncle John. Because Uncle John and Jake were with me in the store that day. And I walked back into the store. And it wasn't, it wasn't more than a few minutes. And all of a sudden, I got ganged up on. I just felt people following me. And I turned and looked. And here was the, like the, the head guy, the head man, the, the, the main manager at the store. And he had employees with him. And they kicked us out because they found the video. Because what they didn't know that day is that there was a video. <laughs> I, did, I never said there was a video because I, I wanted to keep that just between me and the Lord. So I, <laughs> so I did. <laughs> anyway, that's my story. Uh, and I'm sticking to it because it's the truth. And um, yeah. That's it. That's a pretty good story, right? It's a good story to have. All right. I've got, uh, what? I don't know. Five minutes, 10 minutes left maybe on this $50 super chat. Thank you for doing that, man. I'm going to, um, as soon as it runs out, I'm going to say good night. And thank you all for for joining. If you want me to stay, I'll. I'll it, it depends on the super chats. How about that? As long as there's some up there, I'll stay. But when this thing goes away, when the last one goes away, I'll leave. Um, please ask Jack the two questions when the video is over. Okay. Do people need to give you permission to use them in your videos? Easton Michaels said. Um, it depends on the situation. A lot of places that we film, where we go film, will have like signs. And, um, you know, like there'll be a sign posted that says there's going to be filming that takes place. And it depends where we are. Sometimes if there's no expectation of privacy, it really doesn't matter. Um, because people know when they're going out in public, they might be on camera doing something. But I do try to now because a lot of the stuff that I'm doing now is, you know, maybe for TV or whatever. But I did this. Um, gosh, I got a lot of projects going on right now. I'm also doing a, a TV show that's going to launch here in April on a network, a TV network called Circle. So be sure to check that out. That's the grand, that's the Opry's TV network actually. Um, and it's called, uh, I don't know if I can announce what it's called actually, but check it out. It's going to, it's going to, I think it's launching in April sometime. Um, and we shot five episodes of that so far, and there's uh, more to come. So that's going to be really fun. What else we got here? Champ. Champ. Eon. Champion. Says, uh, I keep one in my purse just in case Jack shows up at our local Walmart. Champ, where is your local Walmart? What city are we talking about here? Oh, Lori said, were you the one who filmed that lady with the tissue and her grabbing the ice cream from the freezer? <laughs> yes, I was. Um, I was actually kind of kind of shocked. New prank show for Opry's new TV network circle coming soon. Um, yes, 
But the show I'm referring to is actually not a prank show. It is a, um, I could probably say what it's called, I would think. I don't know. I don't know if there's any issue with that. I didn't get any, uh, any um, rules. Nobody told me whether or not I could, so. Um, ah, Joel's in old, old city Sacramento. That's awesome. Wait, I copied and pasted it from your site so you can say it. <laughs> I said it on my site? It's called Country Countdown. Oh, cool. Okay. It's called Country Countdown. So it, it's really it, it's really fun. I wish there was a, a little clip that I could show you because, man, it's, it's, it's a good show. It's really fun. Look, Super Chat is almost done. Uh, I'm going to try to answer a few more questions. Some people are saying that someone else took that video, but I believe that you were the one who filmed it. I, I did film it. It happened right here at my local Kroger um, in uh, Franklin. So I, ha I have literally have the original footage on my phone, in fact. Lori's referring to a video of uh, a really weird video that I posted on Facebook of this lady who had a tissue and it's uh, I blocked her. I blurred her face out and stuff in the video, but it was gross. She was at the ice cream section and she like had a tissue and she's coughing in it and blowing her nose with it and all this stuff. And I watched this and she sneezed really heavily into it. And I'm like, Oh, and I backed away and I started, I held up my phone. I started filming her. All hell broke loose when I started filming her. She was picking out ice cream and had this snot rag getting all over the ice cream and the thing and switching the, I, it was like, I couldn't even believe, believe what I was watching. I'm like, do I really have this on video? This is so awful. Um, Robin Reynolds, Jack, my name, my mom is named Robin. She loves, you can see you say hi to her. Hi Robin. Thank you for watching this. Uh, Rocky said, Franklin Ware Kroger. It's almost over up there. How many pooters can you squeeze at once, man? I do. Not, I, I really don't know. No, I've never been. I've never been uh, uh, in trouble or or anything. I should get on here once in a while and do like tutorials, teach people how to do it. That was a long one. Oh, look at this. Wow, man. Jack, keep up the great videos. This dis disabled Marine veterans loves your vids. Oh, dude. Thank you for your service. God bless you, brother. I appreciate it so much. Oh, man. This guy, thank you. Um, thank you for thank you for the super chat, but thank you mainly for your service to the country and the fact that um, just for all of the the freedoms that we get to do that you stand up that you stand up for. Thank you so much. Thank you, brother. It means a lot to me. Greg Benson's been talking about moving to Denver. Wow. My thoughts, I don't know what my thoughts are. I don't have any, I mean, I don't know anything about Denver. 
Nothing. Minus reading Dr. Seuss books. Oh, dude. I, hey, I wrote, actually, I'm the new Dr. Seuss writer. I don't know if you know that or not. Should I read it? Should I read it? Should I read? You want me to hear? My, you want me to read my new Dr. Seuss book? Do you want to read it? It's, it's going to get me in trouble. It's going to get me in trouble. I'm telling you. This is not, this might not be good if I, if I do this. But let me look at it. And let me read over it again. Oh my gosh. I'm going to get a lot of crap for this probably. It seems like a common sense kind of issue, but I don't know. Should I do it? Should I do it? You, some of you guys might not like it. Some of you guys might not like it. That's my that's my that's my concern. I, I um read it for the for the better. Um, <laughs> I wrote a Dr. Seuss book. After all this crazy, crazy stuff happened. Um, and people are saying, do it, do it, do it, until I actually do it. And some of the people on here might not agree with it. And they might be mad at me. And they're going to hate it. Uh, do me a favor. Just see it as, a, as you know, lighthearted as it is, okay? If I do it. If I decide to do it. Uh, I, I, I got it right here. I want to read it so bad, but I'm kind of afraid of it too a little bit. Let me just think about it for a minute, okay? I got a little time left on this last <laughs> little super chat. Have you ever had a crazy uh, off-camera encounter with somebody? Um, off-camera, let me think. I'll think about that for a minute. Yeah, I'm sure I I'm sure I have probably. Uh tell me your opinions about the Dr. Seuss thing, please. Just start just start, stop giving them. Uh well, tell me what your opinions are. Maybe that'll determine whether or not I read this. Synth Valley just said, my wife and I are thinking about moving to Flagstaff. Have you ever been there? I, I have been there a couple of times, two or three. And uh, actually, my sister lives in Flagstaff with her family. And um, my mother, she took care of my mother for the last year of her life. And my mom passed away in August, I think. And... Um, yeah, that was. I never went live or really said too much about it. But uh, but yeah, uh, Flagstaff Flagstaff is is beautiful. I think. Um. Okay. I'm going to wait and I'm, I'm just going to wait and see. I almost was going to read it there, but give me a second. Oh, it's almost over. Last super chat. Okay. Uh, okay. We can't keep rewriting history and canceling something for many times. You know about the Democrats. Okay. Were there any? Let's see. Okay. I'll answer that in a minute. I'll try to. Um, <clears throat> can handle it. Read it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Should I do it? I, I, um, Oh my gosh, I've been on here for an hour and a half, you guys. I think I'm going to read. I think I'll read. People are, they, you, you, you can tell, can't you? You can tell I'm sitting here like walking a thin. I'm thinking about it. I kind of want to. Not kind of. I really want to. Um, 
Oh, oh, and it's the uh, it's the it's the veteran. Okay, I'm doing it for the I'm doing it for my country, my friend. Here we go. Thank you for the super chat. It's just enough time, too. By the way, five dollars is just enough time, I think, to <laughs> to get through this. We'll see. Um, and then uh, after I read it, if you if super chats start to come in because you're so overwhelmed and thrilled with this reading of this new Dr. Seuss book, we can talk about it during those super chats. Okay, we can discuss it, see how everybody feels. This is for Rendelman's, if I pronounced that correctly. As Annie McNocker sat back in her rocker, a stranger showed up with a puberty blocker. Here we go. A blocker, she asked, as the stranger then smiled. Yes, so she said, this is going to be wild. Then Annie replied, what's that in your hand? And the stranger came closer saying, soon you'll understand. Didn't you say that you feel like a boy? Then Annie answered, yeah, when I play with certain toys. And wearing my dad's clothes, I think it is fun. Then the stranger said, Annie, stay here, do not run. Then he took her by the arm and stuck her real quick and said, hmm, what should I call you? Your new name is Rick. Annie paused, Annie paused for a moment, it's actually sad. Annie paused for a moment and thought it was weird, then looked in the mirror and saw her new beard. The stranger then said, my work here is done and pranced far away to get the next little one. Okay, now I want your opinion. It literally was enough for that last super chat to go away. <laughs> okay, here we go. Jack Bale's canceled. Loved it, loved it. Oh, oh his face. Okay, thank you. All right, appreciate it. I really want to know what my uh, my Marine veteran friend. Oh, good. Okay, he's laughing. Okay, good. No, nope, thank you. All right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'll go. I'll go take care of it right now. Okay. Um. What are you guys, what are you guys saying about this? Yeah? Okay, cool. Everybody, yeah, we're good. I think we're good. I think I'm with some good. I'm with good people. I should know. I should know that I'm with good people. Thank you guys. Um I thought <laughs> Lori thought it might be way worse. I tried to I it was pretty family, you know, but I just think the world's lost its mind, to be honest with you. And um, I don't get it. I don't get what the heck's going on. Sometimes I look back and I think, well, my mom's gone. My mom went in back in August. And uh, I think about people in my life that I lost over the past, you know, a few years and stuff. And I'm like, if only they could see what's going on in the world today, I think they would just have lost their mind anyway. Um, there's no more common sense. And I think that's the... the the biggest issue is that there's no common sense anymore. You, 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 there's no, it's just bizarre to me, but anyway, Hey, thank you for the, see, I got to stick around as long as, <laughs> as long as there's a super chat up here. I, I'm going to stay around here. Um, mm, oh man. I'm so sorry to hear that. Alyssa. Oh, Does anybody know, can anybody see, I know it's kind of blurry, but does anybody see what that is back there? Lisa, not you. Lisa, don't say anything. I know she knows. Have you ever farted in Denver? No, but, but I was in Colorado. Was I in Denver? Did I do a video in Colorado? Uh, yes, in Colorado, but in Denver, I don't remember. I'll have to check and see. I, I did a you – know, you don't have to zoom in, Lisa. You, you, you know. Anybody know what that is? Anybody? Picture of uncle. 
Lori Kane is an illustrator. Oh my gosh. Yeah, let's. Uh, my email address, Lori, is jack at jackvale.com. Uh, common sense is not as common as it used to be, that's for sure. I did. I lost some weight. Look, I wish I would have shaved before I came on here. Can you believe this? See, nobody knows what that is. It's too far away. What is your secret to your full head of hair? I don't know. Now, see, I, I have always had a high hairline. See how it goes up here? I've always had that my whole life. Um, and usually I got this short, like, you know, spiky kind of hair, kind of messy, you know. And now my hair is starting to kind of, you know, it's getting longer now and stuff. It actually is starting to look more like it did when um, I first started making videos in the beginning. Not the bald look. That was not a good look for me, and I, I'm aware. But um, the, the, the long, you know, the, the longer hair look. People used to call that the Leonardo DiCaprio look. Your favorite prank that you have done in years past. Unchap. Definitely unchap. Champion is talking about blog TV. Blog TV here. Wow. Champion's been here for a long time. Oh, good point. Do you think you'd be able to do the holding ha people's hands bit again with everything going on? Um, it's a really good question. I, I don't know the answer to that. Oh, no more super chats. Um, I don't know the answer. I'll answer your question real quick. I don't know the answer to that question, but I will tell you there's got to be I, – I, I could foresee a time in the near future where we would be able to. Um, okay. I love you guys. I want to thank you so much for joining me tonight. Um, we had a small group that was kind of cool because they gave me an opportunity to read a lot of the comments. A mullet, I might do a mullet. Love you guys. And I will see you. Let's do this again tomorrow. All right. Bye.